welcome back to my channel guys for those of you guys who don't know me my name is nicole and i'm so happy you clicked on this video so in today's video i am going to be giving you guys seven things you need to know how to do in excel as an accountant so if you're an accountant this is the video for you or if you just want to know more about what excel does go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram if you haven't followed me on instagram yet and let's get into the video If you work in accounting, you need to know how to use Excel because pretty much most of your support, most of your documentation, your income statement, your balance sheet, your statement of cash flows, all of that, your trial balance, your general ledger, all of that is pretty much Excel. No matter what accounting software you are using, it is going to be transferred preferably to Excel or, or a PDF document, but we don't like PDF documents because when you are doing your math to check your work, when you're trying to check for accuracy or even for an audit, you need to have everything preferably in Excel because you already have formulas and it's much easier for you to be able to do the math and check for any errors and such so with that let me tell you guys a couple of basic skills you need to know in excel thank you so much cinder for partnering with me on this video so guys cinder is an easy platform for business owners if you are looking to automate your business automate your reconciliation and have a more streamlined process for doing business tracking sales this is the platform for you so cinder allows you to unify payments systems and your e-commerce platforms it's easy for reconciliations to ensure that your financial accounts are matched up accurately and easily it helps you to have correct tax accounting, and it also arranges your income statement, your balance sheet, and other reports with high accuracy. It helps you to maintain insight on sales instantly, and it does accept online credit card payments from any other channels used for your online sales. So I highly recommend you testing out Cinder for your business one of the best things that i liked about it is that it does integrate with quickbooks and you guys know quickbooks is essential for business owners and managing your data and your books and the great thing about it as it ties into this video is that all of your reports does end up coming up in excel but it's just a more automated dreamlined process so i highly recommend you guys checking out cinder the link is going to be down below for you to request your free demo or sign up for a free trial and let me know how it goes the very first one is all of the keyboard shortcuts it is going to save you so much time by learning all of the different shortcuts in the keyboard and i am going to be having a couple of them on the screen for you guys but you need to know how to do like a basic control c for copy or a control x for for removing something you know control z back for, for going back uh control v for for pasting so knowing the shortcuts on the keyboard is going to help your work be 10 times faster and it's just going to make it easier for you okay so make sure you guys can go on google and look up excel shortcuts and there's usually like different links or pdfs that come up that you can save or as you're learning more things start a start a little sheet start a little cheat sheet a word document that you can easily use whenever just so that you could be able to to reference that and also be able to help other people out with it but definitely know the keyboard shortcuts in Excel I'm telling you it's a game changer and it's going to make your work day easier another thing you need to know how to do in Excel as an accountant is learn how you need to know how to convert the data that you have in Excel into some sort of presentation and it's usually into a chart presentation um, when it comes for analytics so you're going to want to know how to convert the data into a pie chart or into a bar graph or into one of those his i think it's called a histogram i'll pop up some different charts for you guys but you need to know how to convert the data into 
a chart for presentation purposes because some people like myself are visual learners and not everyone that you're going to be dealing with in the workplace knows excel or even knows basic accounting so you're going to want to be able to present a picture to them and the charts are your visuals so making sure you know how to do that is key because sometimes you're going to be doing some sort of analysis maybe you're trying to do an analysis of how much it's costing your company to do something you're going to want to present that more so in a graph form or if you're doing a if you're doing a, an analysis that has to do with comparison between a couple of different years you're going to want to do probably a bar graph or um or something of the sort so please know how to turn your data into charts for presentation the next thing is pivot tables you need to know how to do pivot tables there are so many tutorials on how to create a pivot table i know pivot tables is something that i struggled with first but then just after lots of practice i was able to master it so creating a pivot table is what helps with if you have a whole bunch of data instead of going through one by one with a pivot table you have it in categories and it's able to properly present to you like usually summaries of the data or just have it better organized for you to review easy to understand and a lot of the times as auditors so i'm talking to those of you guys who are going to work in the big four or something as auditors you're going to be definitely getting a lot of support from your client in form of pivot tables so learning how to do one how to create one or learning had, or just knowing what a pivot table is is essential and sometimes you're going to be given a whole bunch of data and you're going to have to to use a pivot table to help you organize it and then give that data off to your manager or to somebody else who needs to see it basic formulas you need to know how to do a formula in a cell so there's so many different formulas that is so useful for accountants i'm not going to get into detail with it you can go ahead and look them up but you you need to know how to do like just your basic sum how to sum um a column how to sum a row maybe how to do some basic multiplication or division maybe you need to know how to do if and functions and different types of formulas so i would definitely recommend learning how to do formulas you can do some there's a lot of um there's a lot of videos and a lot of content out there where you guys can learn basic formulas or how to create formulas in excel watch a lot of tutorials let me know if there's any particular that you guys want me to do and i will go ahead and do those for you but learn formulas understand how the formulas work in excel learn how to create formulas in an excel cell so the next thing is how to reference cells you need to know how to reference cells when working within excel i think that that's definitely important so an example of referencing a cell is let's say that you are trying to use one number in a specific cell to generate different calculations for you you're going to want to know that you need to have it as a i think it's called an absolute uh cell reference where you have the dollar sign in front of the letter of the cell as well as in front of the number so let's say for example a1 it will be dollar sign a dollar sign one or you can just reference a cell that like it's not an absolute um, and then it will take it from like a previous one to the next one and you're going to want to do that it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier especially when it comes to creating data um, creating a worksheet creating data or analyzing data or doing some math for clerical calculations the next thing is consolidating or combining your data you're there's going to be times where you're going to get multiple different workbooks and stuff um, or multiple different excel sheets and as an auditor specifically or even just as an accountant you're going to be wanting to consolidate that data so that you can see the big picture all in one so you need to know how to do that sometimes it's by um copying from one workbook into another workbook by creating a new tab learning how to move data so all of that with consolidating is something that you're going to need to know in excel and again there's a whole bunch of tutorials out there the last thing is what if analysis you're going to need to know how to do what if analysis so what if analysis are pretty much like hypothetical situations if you're trying to see like what if 
everybody got a $10,000 raise, what will be the, the payroll cost implications, stuff like that is what it, what if is. That is leaning more into the analytics side. So let's say, what if we give everybody a $5,000 raise, a $10,000 raise, and a $3,000 raise, raise? You have a couple different scenarios and you're gonna be analyzing that data. So I think knowing how to do what if analysis is very important skill for an account or just anyone to have when it comes to Excel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to comment down below what are some other Excel tips and tricks that you have so that we can share and we can all learn from each other. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and make sure you are following me on Instagram so that you can keep up with me in real time. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.